Hi children, today we shall solve the problems of exercise 3.2 of a polynomial chapter class 10 CBSE. Let's see what is the third question. Draw the graphs of the given polynomial and find the zeros. Justify the answer. What does this question meaning? First we need to draw the graph. By the graph we need to find the zeros of this polynomial. How can we find zeros of this polynomial by the graph? Suppose if graph touch the x-axis at one point, we can say this polynomial has one zero. If the graph touches x-axis at two different points, we can say this polynomial has two zeros. Suppose the graph doesn't cut the x-axis at anywhere, we can say this polynomial has no zeros. If the graph doesn't cut the x-axis at anywhere, we can say this polynomial has no zeros. This is a quadratic polynomial. It means it has at most two zeros. At most two zeros means this polynomial has one zero or two zeros or no zeros. Okay. So let's see how can we solve this problem. First to do justification. First to do justification. So here I am writing this given polynomial here. So in justification we need to find factors of this polynomial. How can we find factors of this polynomial? We have to split this middle term into two terms. So if you add these two terms, you have to get this middle term. If you multiply these two terms, you have to get product of this x square and phi. So now take product of x square and phi, phi x square. What are the factors of phi? 5 and y, 5 and 1. Other than these factors, do we have any? No. 5 and 1. If you multiply these, 5 into 1, 5. Here we have x square, write 1x for this, write 1x for this. If you multiply these two, 5 into 1, 5, x into x is x square. Here we will get 5x square. Suppose if you add or subtract these two terms, you have to get this middle term. Suppose if you add these two terms, plus 5, plus 1. 5x 1x equal to 6x so it is not equal to minus 4x so it is not possible now let us take minus 5x plus x one is negative other is positive if you subtract here minus 4x so if you subtract here we will get minus 4x but if you multiply minus 5x into x it is equal to minus 5x square but here we want plus 5x square. Though, so this is also not possible. Now let us take 5x minus x. Before we took minus 5x and x. Now we are taking 5x and mi minus x. So if you multiply again you are getting minus 5x square. It is not equal to plus 5x square. So this condition also not possible. Okay, so suppose if you take both our negative values, if you add these two, minus 5x minus x equal to minus 6x. So it is not same as minus 4x. Okay, so we can say here, we are not able to write factors of this polynomial. We can't find factors of this polynomial. It means there are no zeros of this polynomial. So this polynomial here. We can't find factors of factors of p of x. So it has no zeros. It has no zeros. It is confirmed this polynomial has no zeros through this justification. Let's see what happens in this graph. So to draw the graph, we need to find x and y values. Let us assume this given polynomial as y. y equal to x square minus 4x plus 5. To draw the graph, we need to find x and y values. So let us take some different values of x. For suppose minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. 0 comma 1 and 2 okay by substituting these x values in given polynomial 
then we get y values okay y equal to here u of x comma y so now first substitute x equal to minus 3 in given polynomial so what is a given polynomial y equal to x square minus 4x plus 5 now substitute x equal to minus 3 y equal to minus 3 whole square minus 4 into what is x value minus 3 plus 5 so minus 3 whole square is equal to minus 3 into minus 9 minus 3 into minus 3 equal to 9 minus into minus plus 4 3 is a 12 plus 5 here 12 plus 5 equal to 17 17 plus 9 equal to 26 here we got the value as 26 minus 3 comma 26 okay next substitute x equal to minus 2 y equal to x square minus 4x plus y so in place of x we have to substitute minus 2 whole square minus 4 into minus 2 plus 5 minus 2 whole square is nothing but minus 2 into minus 2 2 to the 4 minus into minus plus minus into minus plus 4 to the right plus 5 here 8 plus 5 13 13 plus 4 8 plus 5 13 13 plus 4 17 okay next x equal to x equal to minus 1 y equal to x square minus 4x plus 5 in place of x substitute minus 1 whole square minus 4 into minus 1 plus 5 minus 1 whole square is nothing but 1 minus into minus plus 4 plus 5 so 1 plus 4 equal to 5 5 plus 5 equal to 10 okay next substitute x equal to 0 now substitute 0 in place of x 0 whole square minus 4 into 0 plus 5 0 square 0 minus 4 into 0 0 plus 5 here 5 next substitute x equal to 1 y equal to x square minus 4x plus 5 so y equal to in place of x substitute 1 minus 4 into 1 plus 5 1 square is nothing but 1 minus into plus minus 4 into 1 4 plus 5 okay next 1 plus 5 6 6 minus 4 2 next now substitute x equal to 2 y equal to x square minus 4x 5 substitute x 2 2 whole square minus 4 into 2 plus 5 2 whole square 2 into 2 4 2 into 2 4 minus 4 to the right plus 5 4 plus 5 9 9 minus 8 1 so now list out all the values of x and y here so what are the values we have here i have written all the values of x and y to draw the graph so write first square of the graph if you see here all the x values minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 these are very small values but if you see all the y values 26 17 10 5 2 1 26 17 10 these are some big values so we can take y uh, y axis 1 centimeter equal to 2 units so here i am writing scale on x axis 1 centimeter equal to 1 unit on y axis y axis 1 centimeter equal to 2 units okay so draw the y axis and next x axis here so middle is 0 this right side we have all positive values 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 on y axis we have all negative values minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and on y axis on upper side we have all positive values it considered as 2 units so 0 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 18 okay 
now this side we have all negative values minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 minus 8 minus 10 minus 12 minus 14 minus 16 minus 18 so now look at all the x and y values so first value is minus 3 comma 26 here x value is minus 3 y value is 26 so first see where is the x value here minus 3 minus 3 is here and x axis minus 3 and y axis 26 plus 26 means upper side twins and it man it means it is somewhere here minus 3 is 26 here okay next value is minus 2 comma 17 minus 2 comma 17 and x axis minus 2 and uh, on y axis 17 here see 14 16 and 18 16 and 18 in middle of 16 and we have 17 minus 2 and uh, here 17 we have okay next value is minus 1 comma 10 and x axis is minus 1 and y axis is 10 minus 1 and 10 it is here minus 1 and 10 it is here okay next 0 comma 5 and x axis is 0 and y axis is 5 it is here and x axis is 0 and y axis is 5 y is on y axis 5 is an exact y axis so it is between 4 and 6 here okay next is 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 and x axis is 1 y value is 2 here 1 and 2 it is here next 2 comma 1 and x axis is 2 and y axis is 1 x axis is 2 and y axis is 1 1 is between 0 and 2 here 2 comma 1 2 comma 1 okay so now join all these points here so now you get this shape here if you see here this graph touches the x-axis touches the x-axis no it doesn't touch the x-axis anywhere so we can say through this graph this polynomial doesn't have any zeros so p of x doesn't have any zeros in justification, in justification also we didn't get any factors and through this graph also it is confirmed this polynomial has no zeros okay thanks for watching